Bitch, you said fuck, boy, fuck, but you don't wanna even say it. Tell the new nigga, I ain't even gotta sweat it. You still gon' talk and that's a goddamn shame. Cause a hoe gon' be a hoe and a lane gon' be a lane. Fuck, You ever had a dream that, 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 that? It's right to the A to the N to the A. And if you're watching this, comment down say, hey. You already know when you see me back again with another video. And by the title and by that song, you know we're going to be talking about these F boys. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys advice. Yes, advice. Listen, we all have a fair share of heartbreaks. We all have a fair share of some situationships. We all had our fair share and some bullshit. Okay, so today I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to avoid a boy, how to know that he is a boy. So, without further ado, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share this video to your homegirls because we all be, we all be going through it. Can't believe I let you waste all my time. Now this fuck boy, you my voicemail crime. Tip number one on how to avoid a fuck boy. No, 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 no. This is how you know that he's a boy not how to avoid them because i don't know how to avoid them they're everywhere um tip number one if he only wants to see you at night i don't want to hear that oh i'm busy you're not busy seven days a week 24 hours a day you're not nobody is you still have to shower you still have to sleep no if you only want to see you at night girl he is playing you Trust me, I know. <laughs> he don't want you. He just wants your cootie cop. This one is a little bit tricky the way I wrote it, but I'm gonna try to explain it as best I can. Tip number two is that that if he only if he brings you around his circle and he doesn't pay you any money, like he literally like forgets you're there. Now it's the difference between you having your boyfriend, you know, he with the guys, but no. Let's say that he brings you around his bro and you're like, you know, you're like he just basically like puts you to the side. You're just a side, okay? You're just a side. You're not the front, you are the back. Agree with me, disagree with me, I don't really care. Like I said, based on personal experience. Yes, I know, how this beautiful thing got paid. Look, I was young, dumb, and gullible. But number three, if he starts texting you consistently, like if he, if y'all first start talking and he's very consistent, when you guys talk, and then when you give him a little cootie cat or give him a little taste of the cookie jar, he's busy. How? But you're not busy when you want to... You're not busy when you want all this good good. Interesting. And that's interesting. Baby girl, push him to the side. We need to learn how to play these guys, how they play us. Like, come on. Best believe I'll play in my fair share guys <laughs> best believe they thought they was gonna get all this goodness nope they get nothing okay next um tip number four to me is the nickname game and now this is based on personal experience not with a guy doing this to me but me doing it to a guy and i feel like that's for girl for boyish but i feel like for boys do that too anyways let's say that he never calls you your name like at all, which is weird. He probably doesn't even remember it. So that boo, baby, honey, sugar cake, sugar muffin, light bulb, whatever he wanna call you, girl, that is a dub. He do not know your name. He probably got 57 chicks lined up. So if he start cleaning with that boo, that what's my name? Just ask him. What's my name? Oh, you don't know. Say less. Bye. Hit him with a bye. Like, he's a dog. That nickname game, like, as soon as the guy calls me Boo Bear, what's my name? Oh, you don't know it. Okay, Bob. Bye. His name is Tyrone. <laughs> Next tip. When you guys are talking, he's only talking about sex the nasty the physical if he only talks about getting down and dirty when he's talking to you then that's all he wants from you is your cookie pot your cookie jar whatever you guys call your little the toto whatever you call it that is all he wants and that's all he's talking about 
my favorite color is pink like damn yo like i like triangles like ask me something else i'd be like he'd be like hey girl hey, hey. <laughs> like what you doing not and i'm just watching tv what you wearing bye 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 click what do you mean no bye when you're telling him your problems and he hit you with that i would never do that to you i'll treat you better than that him off he will do you like that this it'd be crazy because you could tell somebody what you've been through and they'll put you right through it oh it's since he's through i will never do that to you that's exactly what he's gonna do to you he does exactly what he's gonna do trust me and don't believe me he is i know that there's some good guys out there but no that i will never do that to you that was my ex favorite line and what he did, I would never leave you. He left me. So, well, I was look, but look, he said he would never leave and he left. Next tip is if he never takes you out. Now I had learned this the hard way. If that never takes you out, I think you should just cut it off. Honestly, I wish I would've known that. I wish I would've knew my worth back then like I know now. Because I used to mess with this guy and he never took me out not even to the damn park and that's free if he never takes you out just leave him out and i don't want to hear that we're broke it's 2020 if you broke then something's wrong with you because nobody should be broke there's so many ways to make money so i don't want to hear you broke because there's so many ways to make money there's so many ways to take a girl out but no you don't want to take her out you want to just chill in the house no, ain't none of that chilling in the house. It's hot outside. No, it's someone outside that's go ice skating. There's always something to do. Do not let a guy keep taking you to his house to hang out. Duh. And I'm talking about a guy you're just meeting, not a boyfriend. A guy we're just meeting. Okay? I want to warn you little girls. Don't let him get your cookie. Okay? Keep it safe and sound. I wish I did that, but no, I didn't because I wanted to be fast. But don't be like me, be better. I wish a lot of people learn from me or learn from people around them because I have a lot of people that got played in my life. So I'm just like, yeah, you're such a lesson. When y'all make plans and then he flakes because it's turning far down the stairs. Girls, don't, ladies, don't fall for it. If you and this guy makes plans, and all of a sudden the day of the plans, it's, I can go, my foot is on fire. He is lying. He is lying. I'm sorry to tell y'all. If you see him and believe in that, you're a dumb dumb. He just wants to get out of the day because he has another chick. Them, like, ec like extra lies. Like, y'all would know when it's an extra lie because some guys really make up a... Uh, a crazy lie to get out of something and then when you follow up on it they're like what like they don't remember their lie like that's the funny part if y'all only do the nasty at his friend's house i feel like he just thinks of you as a little bitty bop bop that only wants to do you at your friend's house and he never wants to bring you in his house or if he has a house or he doesn't want to bring you around his where he lays his head cut that off cut him off Oh, I can't come to your crib. But you wanna... Nah. You ain't asked me, so I ain't tell you. You ain't asked me if I had a girl, so I never told you. He's a player. He's a player. Like, that one is funny. I, I bet would use that one day if I'm ever single again. But if he hits you... If you find out something and he hits you with the... You never asked. <laughs> Say lies. <laughs> I got you. But seriously, if he hit you with that, he's a playboy, a boy, whatever you want to call it. You caught him red-handed. You caught him. And he hits you with, well, first of all, if you caught him, he's a player. But if you caught him red-handed and he goes, it's not what it looks like. Talking about something. I would just help her look for something. <laughs> what? Bro, as soon as he hit you with that, it's no way it look like that, that, that. Cut him 
off. He's a player and you just caught him and then he just lied. Even though you caught him, he lied. Like, there's so many ways to spoil a player that y'all don't even realize. And if y'all think y'all mess with a player or y'all think y'all mess with somebody who's not good for y'all, let me know. I'll tell y'all because if anybody, if you ask anybody, I am so great with giving advice that like y'all don't even know. Like, it's a bunch of people that I told not to deal with each other and they dealt with each other and what happened got played. I'm telling y'all, it's like I have an 18 cents because I have 17 cents. It's like I have an 18 for one for bum cheating ass guys anyway guys i hope you like this video make sure you like comment subscribe and share if you want a part two of this video just keep liking this video or comment down below if you want another video of this video comment down below what else y'all want me want to see want to see me talk about i have vlogs coming soon make sure you hit the notification button and thank you guys for watching okay bye